guys welcome back to electrical car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video here we'll be working on a bmw guys and if you have a bmw 5 series guys doesn't matter what engine it is and you're trying to test your knock sensors okay stay with us and we'll explain how to do that if you guys have a four cylinder engines you may have one or two knock sensors if you have six cylinder engines you will have two knock sensors and if you have a v8 engine you will have four knock sensors stay with us and we'll explain how to test each one of them and know for sure if it's good or bad so that way guys you don't have to waste your money on knock sensor unless you have to replace it now quick introduction to the channel guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can guys keep providing that free information now uh, if you guys need to buy new knock sensors, the tools, the scanner that we'll be using, any parts, anything like that, check out the links guys, we share them uh, in the description of the video below for your convenience. So, specifically we have a 6 cylinder gasoline engine here and I'll explain where you can expect to find the knock sensors, they're usually mounted on the engine block under the intake manifold or on the cylinder head guys. Now, in our case on the 6 cylinder, okay, and most of the 4 cylinders they will be mounted on the engine block on the v8 engines they will be mounted on the cylinder head so you can see we have one here one there we have them removed this is guys the knock sensor let's explain guys what they do guys and why they're so important now if you have a better one we have a special video that explains if you can drive uh, with a bad knock sensor and how that can cost you thousands of dollars so uh, please check out the video guys okay can i drive with a bad knock sensor so uh, we'll try to put the link in the description of the video below the knock sensor guys it's kind of like a, okay it's kind of like a microphone for the uh, for the engine computer it's mounted on the engine block and it listens for early dead Detonations. okay when you guys have the fuel and the air mixed in the combustion chamber the spark plug ignites uh, or when the diesel ignites the fuel and uh, that ignition guys if it's too early it's going to create guys a knock and the knock sensor will listen for that vibration that knock will listen for vibration and send a signal to the engine computer and it will tell okay we need to okay change the timing uh, maybe retard it okay make it a little bit late so we can fix that otherwise the car is not running correctly now what we need okay we need a multimeter guys now this is the best one that we've used and it's amazing to you guys we click on volts then we select select one time for dc voltage so if you have a simple multimeter go to dc voltage but if you're on the market for a good one we'll definitely recommend this one guys and we'll have the link in the description of the video below bmw's knock sensors most of them come in pairs of two you cannot just uh, remove and replace one you have to replace both but you can test them one by one you can see this is the wire for one sensor wire for another sensor each wire consists of two individually wrapped wires on the inside so touch them with the lead okay touch the knock sensor wires okay let me see which one it is okay it's that uh, long, long sensor now so uh, let me show you now okay we're going to have somebody to hold the sensor okay let's hold it and now i'm going to tap on it and i want to show you with a metal tool what's going to happen to the multimeter okay let's come down a little bit perfect okay watch now okay 40 20 watch when i tap okay it detects that vibration 50 so every time i tap let it down okay let it uh, relax a little bit then tap on it again and okay you can see guys definitely definitely feeling that so definitely a good sensor <laughs> so if you guys tap and nothing happens then it's a bad sensor in our case that's a perfectly fine sensor guys you can see i can even tap it in the pliers and it moves guys here so definitely a responsive sensor if it's not responding it's bad guys so uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure something like that out thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time